a rope in our hand, we're going to have to tie off to that block because that's going to keep the boat from going away. Because the only thing that's going to be holding the boat to that block and us is this chain that we're about to disconnect. So when we get down there, we'll tie the rope off, right? So I'll set up here, you set up here. When we come down, we'll tie the rope. You'll cut me two pieces of wire about that long while I'm over here. So I'm gonna snip this wire and snip this wire and unscrew this right here. I'm gonna disconnect all of this. This chain's gonna go over there, okay? I'm gonna save these washers if I can and replace them if they're all beat up. Because this, these washers actually keep this up off from rubbing around and, all right? So I'll put the new chain on, put the washers in, tighten it back up. At that point, we're gonna collect all of our tools. Okay, so now the new chain is on, our washers are on. I'm gonna put one wire going one way, one wire going the other way. We'll collect our tools. We'll untie our rope and then we'll head back up. So what's going to happen when we come down, we're going to, I'm going to say it again, we're going to swim up to the block. Okay, come over on this side. So I'm going to come down, we're going to come down the chain, we're going to find out where the block is, and at this point we probably won't be able to see anything. Okay, we'll be completely blind. You set up there, set out your tools, you're going to have a roll of wire and some snips. I'm going to have a big wrench. Okay, first thing I'm going to need to to do is get the snips so I can cut this wire right here. Okay, so then I can use the wrench to take this apart. When I'm done with cutting this wire, I'm gonna hand you the snips. You'll cut me two pieces of wire this long, okay? While you're doing that, I'm gonna undo this. We're gonna take this chain off, okay? Now, once we get set up and tied off, we're also gonna have to pull on that rope a couple times because the new chain is gonna slide down that rope. Okay, so what they'll do is they'll slide it down so we can find the end. So this is now disconnected. You've got some wire right there. I'm gonna put the new chain in. I'm gonna reassemble it with the washers. So we have big washer, small washer, lock washer. This is just to keep this rolling around so it doesn't destroy itself. I'm gonna put this back on. I'm gonna put one wire this way and one wire this way. I'm gonna hand you back everything. I'm gonna grab my wrench and then we're gonna go back up. But I'm holding these two pieces of wire when you yep. want them. Yep, I'll and I'll just, I'll just, I'll just reach over and grab it. And what you also might need to do is we're going to have zero visibility. So what you might also need to do is take your hand up into the fresh water and bring it down every now and again to wash away the dust. Because as soon as we start working, the the silt is going to come up and we're not going to be able to see anything. Yep. So do that again. So you're going to bring fresh water down. Not real fast. Yep, just fresh water down. You're just going to want to try and blow that silt away so that I can actually see what I'm doing because literally there'll be zero visibility. And, <clears throat> can you give me a hand signal for that? Like, you'll, you'll, if once, if you can't see my hands, I can't see anything. Because that's part of my job. Yep. Your job is yeah. just be there so that. So when we get, if I ever see it go unclear, yep. I'm just going to slowly start bringing in fresh water. Yep. Just yep, to just kind of, but so, always keep always keep one hand. Until you say stop. Yep, always keep at least one hand on the block though, because what's going to happen if you're not used to diving in zero visibility, when that silt starts doing this in front of your mask, it's going to make you feel like you're moving even if you're not. Okay, is there anything I can hold on to? On yeah, the there's a concrete block. There's a concrete block bigger than me down there, and yeah, then there's a bale sticking up out like this. Like a, a U. Yeah, so it's a, it's about as big as my fist, and it's a big U. So can I grab that? Probably. Yeah, and just put my finger around it. Something, yep. Because, you know, Well, and I, and I recommend diving heavy so you can just lay on the bottom. It makes it easier. Well, yeah, but I, was, I was thought I was supposed to stay off the bottom. You're not going to be able to. You're okay. not going to be able to float above what we're doing because you're going to be moving around like this, which is going to cause more so silt. So I got to be right there. The block's yep. just high. I got to be yep. right there. You got to be, yes, we have to be inches apart from each other. Okay. So probably my head and your head are going to be 12 inches apart. Okay. And so your hands are going to be here. My hands are going to be here. Right? Because mm -hmm. that's the only way we're going to see each other's hands. Understood. All right. So, and if I, if I, what I'll most likely I'll do is I'll just reach over and grab what I need from you. If you're holding it, because 
there's a good chance that if I look up at you like this, I'm not going to be able to signal you. Now, some, some are better than others. Some we can just look at each other and do this or whatever. But most of the time, what's going to happen is all we'll be able to see is this right here. And so you just need to know that you need to cut me some wire and have me some tools ready. And then what I do is I'll, and I'll ha I have a bag for us to put them all in. Okay. When I go down, do I have the wire? Or yep. Do you hand? Okay. I carry the wire down. Yep. You've got the snips. Yep. After you snip, you hand me the snips. Yep. I cut two wires. I hold on to the snips. Yep. Just put them back in the bag. Hand you back the wire at times when you're ready. And when you're ready, I'll hand you the snips and yep. the wire. Yep. When you bag. Yep. Intermittently, I'll way fresh water down if I see visibility going low. Yep. If you ever want me to stop, just do something like that. Yep. Okay. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we're going to have a bag. I'm going to have the big wrench, right? So I'm going to take this big wrench down. I'm going to take two size snips because sometimes um, the big ones, they just get in the way depending on how everything's in. So we're going to take two size snips and then these pliers. These pliers are actually to spin the wire and the wire. Okay, we're gonna keep all that in a mesh bag. Always hand me the smallest ones first. Okay, and actually I'm, depending on what I've got in my hands, I might just take them with me. And you'll keep these in the bag with you, these in the bag with you, this in the bag with you, and then I'll take this. Okay, how do I know which of these to hand to you? Always I, start with the small ones. And how will I know? Will you hand it back? I'll hand it back and be like, big one. Okay. 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 So I'll hand it back. Like, if this doesn't work, I'll be like, I'll hand it back and I'll be like, oh, no, I need the big one. And then this one, when I need it, I'll just go. I'll just go. Because this is the one I use to spin the wire with. So I'll just do that. Okay. So big one or. Okay, and then you want me to take it, how about that? No, no you can't do that. That's no. okay. <laughs> that's okay. So that's I mean, okay. <clears throat> if you just hand it to me, I'm going to take it. Yep, give it if, you hand, if I hand it to you, so yeah. if I, when I do this, you just take it. Now, if I go like this and like that, give me some clippers, right? Or if I, if I hand this back and I say no, no, right? What I really want is this which is this guy. All right, so these pliers, <laughs> this, so I can spin the wire, okay? So cut, spin, all right? Okay, so these, these are washers. Um, there should be several different kinds. So there should be lock, small one, and a big one. So if I need, if I can't save the washer, I'm gonna do this. So if I'm, if I'm working over here with this stuff, with the wire and everything, and I go, like that, like I need a washer, or like that, because that's okay. So let's go like this. So I'll need a washer. Okay, got it. Keep them in the bag. Keep them in the bag until then. And there's what we need to remember is these guys are actually doing the hard work, so we need to work as hard as we can to keep them from having to work too hard. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Where's the grease? <laughs> oh, you're oh. right. We do want to take that with us. Yeah. Yes, yes, you're right. Need more? Okay. 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 Alright, safe.